as always, hope you're all well. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you know when I share, aka pencil surprises, next goes live. Can you believe this is week 15? 15 of doing resin we dad. Today we have some non let resin moulds and an A let resin mould. And you remember the roses I showed in the live? Well, we tried some out yesterday, so let's see how they come out. I'm going to slip it out of the mould. Really? I mean, look at that. And we didn't use any silicon release. These are just how they're coming out. They are pushing out really easy. Wow. There you go. We, we always use the leftover for these. And these two are leftover from the one mould that we did. They have like a goldy green colour. And then these were all made with a green glitter. And I think they look, they're going to make absolutely perfect cover minders. I mean, let's see, we have a diamond painting tray here. So if you imagine that this diamond paint tray is your picture and then you've got that sitting on it or that one sitting on it. I know Arietta's going to want one of these for us. Whether she'll want a cover minder or a fridge magnet is to be decided. But there are those. So we will be right back with the next item. As you can see, there is a theme this week. And it's very much inspired by Arietta's son, Oz, who absolutely loves anything emerald. Well, so does my dad. So we decided to go with a green theme this week. We didn't do as much as we normally do. But as you all know, I haven't been feeling 100%. So we will see how things turn out. As you know, sometimes I can do this teddy bear, sometimes I can't. So, bear with me. <clears throat> What's everybody up to? What you're working on? What you're watching on TV? I've just recently finished watching all but one episode of a programme called The Last of Us. Now, anybody that knows me knows I don't like zombie things. Never have done, never will do. But yeah, I'm quite enjoying The Last of Us. It's got a very interesting story and it has been renewed for a season two. It's actually based off of a PlayStation game. So we have... I'm sorry about that, my memory said. You filled me up, you need to empty your phone. And I'm like, okay, this is a new phone. Is it going to be as simple as my old phone? No, it wasn't. But I finally got it done. So, this was the little bear we unmoulded. Do you think it'd make an adorable cover minder? It's definitely a sensory bear. So, anyway, that's that. As we're back, I'm going to do these two, and then we'll move on to the next item. These are the flat back bears that we normally do in two town, but we decided yesterday to be idle and just do the one. There's a little bit of overspill, but you can tear that off, and if not, pair of nail scissors and it comes straight off but there's number one and number two so i will be right back with the next item and today we're doing another lizard this is going to be a surprise to me because dad decided to experiment with colors so we shall see but from what I'm seeing, I like, I definitely think we needed more green in the green glitter though. But oh my god, that's awesome! It's golds and blues, and then you've got the green glitter in it. Oh my god, look at that! The camera really, really shows it off. But as always, Richard will do pictures and we'll stick them in at the end of the video. So. I like that. The camera makes it look better than it is in real life. 
That's unusual, so I'll be right back with the last one. I agree with the glitter, I wish it was Okay, this is a Let's Resin Frog Mold. I do have the other one that's not Let's Resin, but you all know I'm partial to Let's Resin. I've not used it before. Not sure if I'm going to be able to demold on my own, but we shall see. If not, we'll pause so you don't have to watch the struggle. Because the struggle is real, people. <clears throat> now, I'm going to pause and we'll be back. Okay. Here is our frog. Now, yes, it needs a little bit of trimming in between the claws. But we did it in two-tone and then filled it in with like a goldy green and it works it really really works you see that dark green on the body the green there and then the gold green underneath and this texture here it feels like frog skin it's weird I don't know if i want to do the eyes in silver or gold or probably gold but yeah that is absolutely gorgeous. We'll let my dad decide the colour of the eyes as he picked the colours of the frog. But yeah, I really, really, really like that. We'll be right back with a bonus mould. So I'll be right back. As you all know, when I did my D mould video the other day, I said how much I wanted the Let's Resin Snail mould. Well, let's just say somebody decided to treat me as it had finally come to Amazon in the UK. And we have two new moulds. We have... We're not going to get it out. We have another skull only this one doesn't have the snake ground it so the possibilities are endless so i'll pass that to my assistant for that they all come in a letter in box which has all their details on there i don't know if you can see that it says that the facebook youtube they have instagram they have a website which is www.letterreading.com it always comes with really it's giving you safety information and other information and on the box it tells you where it was produced if it was uk or usa i'm sorry about people bouncing the floor so and then we have my snail. We finally have my snail. Now you saw how tidy my other one was. The non less one. This one is the less resin one. That I have seen everywhere and I fell in love with. I am, oh, the only thing I worry about. Because everybody's had the same problem. Is the little antenna I think snap. But you can just fix them with a bit of UV. But as always, it has the Let's Resin logo. What I do appreciate with this one, that I haven't seen on your others, is they put the measurements of what you need. It tells you that it takes 99 fluid ounce. Now, I've never seen that on a mould before. And I appreciate that, because there's nothing worse than trying to work out how much resin a mould takes but look at this you've got your lovely shell and i mean that's a big shell my fist fits in there so you can tell how big that shell is and then you have his lovely body here and even feeling it you can feel like that slimy texture and it's all all shiny so you know it's going to come out shiny and you know it's lovely eyes antennas whatever you want to call them but there we have our bonus mould for today. So remember, check out Let's Resin. Check out the resin supplies then. Subscribe to my dad's channel. It will be linked down below. Uh, and as always, look after yourselves. If you can't look after yourselves, you can look after anybody else. Can I get an eye
as for now, love, peace and harmony.